to you all. How are you doing? Hope you are doing great and happy new week to you all. May this week give birth to your open door and greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, this morning we have a news on our desk. A lot has been happening. A lot is happening because of the things that is happening in Nigeria here. That is why we continue to bring you, you know, happenings around Nigeria and outside it. But our focus is shifted towards Nigeria as we speak because of the level of things happening there. A lot has happened. Just scroll down to my videos on my channel. You will see them. Watch and like, share. Okay. All right. But for today, guys, we bring you this news that says Nigeria afflicted with visionless leader, Jega. Guys, who is Jega? Can somebody remember who is Jiga? Jiga was the INEC chairman from Good Luck Jonathan's regime till when Good Luck stepped down. I also believe that I don't know if he was the one during the short time uh, 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 Yeradua was in office. I cannot remember now. I can't recollect now, but I think so. Well, if if it's not so, please correct me at the comment section, guys. All right. Jiga, good luck, Jonathan. He worked with him. And during the time, Nathanas ganged against, you know, good luck. Do you remember that Jiga was the INEC chairman then? He was the one that they used in pushing good luck, Jonathan, out from office. Though good luck Jonathan decided to surrender to them so that peace will reign. But that was not the major thing. The major thing is this, that that election was rigged by Jiga. Okay, let us look at it this way. Jiga rigged that election in favor of his fellow Nortana, whom he knew very well that is no, is, is nothing to do. Oh my God, he has no anything, business of you know, leadership or anything to do with leadership in his life. Because you will not tell me that Jiga did not know this man. They are ruling with his name now. Right from 1980, 1970, 1982 and all the rest of them. You will not tell me that Jiga did not know, have, have no history, have no knowledge about this man. They are ruling with his name now. You will not tell me that. But because... A lot of money has been given to him. He has amassed so much wealth for himself. Through that means, they gave him a lot of things, material things that he could live today. And, you know, other people will continue with it. He decided to sell his conscience. Now, this man is crying a wolf. Why is he crying? He has said it the other day. And I looked at that news. I said, if I start bringing this news, personally, I will get offended. I said, no, but I couldn't re resist this one. Guys, I will try as much as I can to be calm because I'm angry. When I see this kind of a people comes out to speak on the issues concerning uh, issues of a national affair, because he is one of the principal people that brought this man they are ruling with his name into office why is he not complaining that nigeria is you know afflicted with visionless leader who put him in office who rigged the election in favor of him who brought about these calamities to nigeria at this stage if you look at it very very well this man now is coming out for 2023 if nigeria continues to be won guys this is what he said but let's go read in details of what he said concerning his nigeria and we'll be back for the next of uh, the rest of analysis let us read through his piece a former chairman of independent natural electoral commission INEC, professor atahiru jiga has said that the country is afflicted with the flux of a bad governance emanating from visionless leader elected into public offices. 
Jiga, who condemned the 2050 general election, spoke in Lagos during the first memorial lecture in honor of the first civilian governor of the state, late Al Haji, led to Jakin Jakande, as organized by Federal Social Democratic FSD. The former INEC chairman who participated in the lecture virtually described Nigerian leaders as greedy and citizens who are desperate for either power or money. <laughs> According to him, democracy in Nigeria is, a, is in trouble owing to the lack of a selfless and patriotic leadership across the trade sphere of government in the country. He noted that Nigeria would only exit the current security and economic challenges when there are selfless and visionary leaders. He said, We must first and foremost acknowledge that Nigeria has been afflicted by the misfortune of having characters in the governance who are neither selfless nor visionary, who are rather greedy, whether, pow whether for power or for money, who are essentially clueless about matters of governance and reckless in the way they handle government affairs and consolida consolidators of bad democratic governance. The statement concludes. <laughs> Guys, you see, eh, when I see these kind of people coming out to speak about what is happening in Nigeria, God, it irritates me. It makes me angry. What F13 has she got to talk about the people leading Nigeria? Is he not the one that took him into office? Okay, this one now that is currently sitting on now. Tomorrow he will come out to tell you uh, uh, Nigeria has a bad leaders. What what a shame! Is he not a man swallowing his vomit? That's what it is. The guy need to be ashamed of himself for saying this. You read the election in favor of him, whom you don't know very well. You knew him very well. He's your brother. He is your brother. You knew him very well. That was why you read in favor of him. So why complaining? These are, these, are, these are one of the people God will keep in the judgment throne over what they have done to that country called Nigeria. And it will happen. Every bad leader in that country that has kept that country the way it is, guys, the judgment of God must surely fall upon them. Because they don't care about others. They don't consider others. Both them, both their senators. In fact, all of them put together called politicians. They don't care about any other person. Guys, they only know themselves. They only care about themselves. And their children are not in Nigeria. They don't school in Nigeria. They don't work in Nigeria. Their children are in abroad. They use their money to buy houses, everything. Make investment in other people's country and keep their children there. That is why they don't consider other, uh, the poor man's children that goes to a public school, that goes to a public, uh, a public uh, what do they call it? Public whatever. Then, that public school that the government owns, put it in order so that the poor masses, it will be favoring for them. No, they don't want anything to favor the poor masses. Those people that you are ruling on behalf of them, those people that, that, that because of them you are in on that seat, these people don't care about it. It's the masculine words. The words of Nigerians and be keeping it for your great grandchildren. God will judge all of you. Guys, let's take one or two comments and we'll call it a day. This person said, God will never forgive you for what you have caused to this Nigeria. Don't mind him. And that person is saying, the level of killing and abuse of human rights in Nigeria is as if we are not human or we don't have government whose responsibility is to protect life and property of the citizen. And that person said, including you. And another person said, you are the number one architect. Then, those who voted Buhari in 2015 are the number two. I blame all of you for every blood shared and single problem we've been through since May 29, 2015. All of you should apologize to us or else the blood 
is on your head. Apologizing is not even okay for me. Guys, let the judgment of God come upon them. Guys, what is your own take in this? What have you to say? Please come tell me your own opinion in the comment section. I will see you again in the next update. Bye for now.